What is that? That glowing? It's so enticing. It's my computer. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? So, yeah, that is my computer. Yay. I can't really think of anything else to say other than yay. Because yay. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of the CPU that I have in there. The AMD A10 5800K. Here are the pros. Very nice. It's cheap. Quite affordable. Very fast. The integrated graphics in it are very good. They can run pretty much everything at like either 40 to 70 frames. And I'll have some benchmarks for some games at the end of this video. It's fairly cool. It's a fairly cool CPU temperature wise. And the socket that he uses, Socket FM2, uh, is going to be updatable because they have the new FM2 CPUs coming out soon, the Richland series, which is going to be very nice. I'm quite happy. Also, you can uh, overclock the CPU and the GPU inside uh, the A10 separately. So you can have the CPU running at a stock 3.8 gigahertz, and then you can have the GPU running at 1000 megahertz instead of the 800 that it's supposed to be at. Or you can flip those around, overclock the CPU and leave the GPU stock. Or overclock them together or underclock them. I don't care what you do with it. Overclocking is pretty simple with my motherboard. It's an MSI FM2A85XA. Yeah. Uh, the cons. It's not the strongest CPU out there, and it's not the fastest CPU out there. And in terms of updatability, although they do have the new APUs coming out for Socket FM2, it's not the strongest branch. If you want to get something better, you can go with the Phenom 2, the X4s, or the X6s, or you could just skip that all together and go for the FX series CPUs, which are much faster much more powerful and their sockets uh, have a little bit of backward compatibility about them with the motherboards. I think AM3 or AM2 Plus can work with the next step down. Also the RAM memory is a bit locked. Right now I'm using 8GB of 1866 megahertz RAM and I think that's the fastest speed that this A10 can actually use. I don't know if overclocking it is going to do any different or if it will be able to handle like 2100 megahertz memory or 2400, 2133, anything like that. I have no idea if it's going to work. But it's worth trying out. And something else I've noticed, the stock fan that came with the CPU uh, it works. It's a, It's a fan. Overclocking with it isn't the best idea because you can run close to... Well, it idles... Idles works, operates at about 45 to 50 degrees, which isn't too bad. Overclocking would put it up around 60, possibly 65 or 70. Not necessarily the best idea, but yeah, it's possible you can do that. I don't know how it is on things like streaming. Like, if I were to just go to, say, Twitch TV, use XSplit, and have, like, a low-resolution uh, streaming session, I have no idea how that would do. Kind of curious to try it, though. Those are my pros and cons for the A10 5800K. If you have any other questions, comments, suggestions, or anything like that, then go down below and let me know. It also helps to put some extra fans in a case. Like, that blue light is actually an extra fan that I got from Rosewell. It's a 120 millimeter fan. This case only supports 120 millimeter fans, but you can put one in the front, one on the bottom, one in the back, and then two on the sides. And I have no idea if it would work with water cooling and if you put it on the sides, but if so, you could do some overclocking and that'd be nice. A friend of mine asked me what the importance of overclocking was or the usefulness of it. And really for things like if you have streaming planned, if you have rather large renders planned, if you have a rather intensive game, like say you want to try and play Crisis 2 or Crisis 3 or Metro 2033 or things like that, then an overclock would be very beneficial. 
but as for regular usage, like using Microsoft Office, uh, basic 720p or 1080p rendering on Sony Vegas, uh, Apophysis 7x, that's a uh, fractal rendering, can be pretty intensive. But yeah, those things don't need an overclock. Unless you have very, very heavy workings for the computer, I don't recommend overclocking. But you can if you want to, and you can experiment and see how you do. Just make sure you do your research first. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this. And now I'm going to leave you with some benchmarks for a couple games. Alright, uh, I'm going to show you some benchmarks for some stuff. Hopefully that sounded like English. I've got Fraps here uh, recording in the top corner, and I'm going to be running some benchmarks. It's going to be benchmarking a minute over some things. And what I'm going to do is, actually, I don't even really need to use Fraps for one of these, which is Counter-Strike Source. Because it has a quote-unquote video stress test. And the reason why I say quote-unquote video stress test is because um, the uh, A10 uh, blows the hell out of Source Engine. Like, a lot. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second. Also, I'm sorry about the lighting. I have no idea what's up with it. But do you like my... Oh. Fine, if you're going to change on me. I'll show you the uh, end of the stress test. Before I show you the uh, uh, results of the stress test, I want to show you uh, what all I'm running on here. Uh, because my monitor is uh, 7, uh, 1360 by 768, That'll be how it's running. I don't know how this runs at 1080, but, you know, here's to hoping. Everything is on high, is super high. Filtering is on its highest. Anti-aliasing is on eight times. V-Sync is disabled, because V-Sync does kind of affect um, frame rate. So, yeah, let's do this. All right, so you can see here, uh, 204.97 frames per second. Uh, yeah. This does very well on Counter-Strike. So, now let's see how it does on another game. Alright, here I'm going to do some League of Legends. And I'm going to do a battle training. Mainly... Uh, I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I get it. I get it. That was fun. <laughs> video settings. It says auto or whatever. Resolution 1360 by 768. High quality. Medium shadows. Uh, that's a benchmark thing. Uh, I say high frame rate. Just in case it goes higher. There's a little bit of stuff. A little bit emphasis on that. Ah. Maybe I should have just hopped into an actual game so I wouldn't have to deal with this. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F11 and start benching, bench pressing. Son of a bitch. Alright, I think that's enough of this for now. So I'm going to zoom this in so you can see of that little bit of time on League, the two bo the bottom values are the important ones. And I hope you can see that. Uh, average was 60 frames, 60.014. The minimum was 58 frames, and the max was 62 frames. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, since I only have to worry about doing blacklight, here is a blacklight uh, retribution. I'm glad I, always ha I already have these. These are really nice. This minimum, this zero, was I started it in the menu. But after that, in some fighting, I got 33.43 frames and a maximum of 46. This was running on high settings. So what you could probably do is turn it down a little bit, turn it down to medium, and you could have 36 to 50 frames. And then here is... Why does it say... HL2. This is Team Fortress 2. I don't know why it's saying HL2. But 
Yeah, average was 105 frames, the minimum was 52, and the max was 251. So, yeah. Alright, so here is Terra, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button to start benchmarking this, checking it. But I got myself screwed pretty badly earlier, and I'm gonna go piss off a bunch of people. These guys are tough and muscular. This will provide some fighting. So you can get an example. I'll be a, probably a bad example. But a little bit of fighting. Uh, these settings are on... The preset is on 5, and that's pretty high. So, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it's running pretty smoothly. I don't really notice if there is a frame drop. Well, I have the FPS down here, and it's saying like... 30 to 37 to 22 to 40 something to this that and the other but I don't really notice anything major it's all running really smoothly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end that benchmark and I'm going to exit and we're going to see what the results are alright you can see here Terra uh, played it for quite a while the average was 31.429 frames the minimum was 7 and that's like slight moments where it drops to load or whatever and the maximum was 37 on that one so high settings and stuff you can play this any frame rate below 25 isn't noticeable at all I didn't really notice anything at all I thought it was running quite a bit higher actually it just feels really smooth and nice and well it's pretty good overall and what kind of person would I be if I didn't bench uh, bleh. If I didn't benchmark Minecraft, what kind of person would I be? I'd be a... well... I'd still be the person I am today. I wouldn't be any different. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. My world is on the top of a mountain. Uh, sure, let's full screen it. I know this isn't technically full screen, but you know... Leave me alone. Options. Well, I'll zoom it in. Fancy, smooth lighting, 3D. Well, I don't have 3D glasses, I don't need that. GUI scale, uh, normal. All protocols, fur. I have it on balanced. View bobbing. GL is off. Clouds are on. Textures on. V sync off. But yeah, this is this is basic Minecraft. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start benchmarking it. Look at this. Look at all of this. All of this beautiful. It's very beautiful, all of this is. Let's see. And that guy's on fire. Ow. You can see the top of the screen. 125 frames, 122, 99, 62, 60, 85, 112, 60, yeah. But, I know this is pretty plain looking, but it's because I don't use any texture packs, because I can't find any that are, you know, nice. If you know any good Minecraft texture packs, let me know, because I'm kind of curious. Running through this beautiful field of grass. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna punch the grass. Here, stick at this punching. This is on custom now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the world. Let the world load. It's a lot of trees. What is that? Whatever it is, it's nice looking. I want to make my house out of this now. Well, I could just use those houses over there. But that looks nice! Uh, I guess I'm going to keep this map. I was just going to do this for a test thing, but I'm going to keep it now. Because these are... Oh my gosh. I really want to make my house out of that. Alright. So what I'm going to do... TNT... And let's have a party. Let's see how this handles a massive TNT explosion. 
All right, I think that's big enough. So now let's light this powder keg and let's see what it does to the frame rate. It dropped to 22 frames. That is not bad at all. That's only 22 frames. And all of these dropped uh, things here, that affects frame rate as well. And it's running at 60 right now. 59, 57. But yeah, this thing can take a giant explosion. That is really good. So if you play Minecraft and you are heavily into giant explosions, I definitely recommend the A10. I want to do something that's fun. I'm going to do... So I'm going to make a little hole. Alright. Here we go. Let's watch what happens. Awesome. Now let's check the uh, fraps and let's see what it has to say. Alright, so here is the Minecraft frame rate. The average was 75.884 frames per second. The minimum was 2. I think I know, and I think you know what that minimum was. That giant TNT explosion. But that didn't last long at all, and the maximum was 127 frames per second. So yeah, this is five things here, five benchmark logs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. All in all, the AMD A105800K is an amazing CPU slash GPU slash APU. It's really good. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on a graphics card, or on an Intel CPU, or on an 8-core CPU, or whatever, then, ow, that hurt. The A105800K is a very good deal. It plays a lot of good games. From what I, This is, like, games other than, like, Battlefield or Crisis that everyone's playing. This is some other, like, you know, I would say indie games, but they're not really indie games. But yeah, really fun games. Minecraft... Terror, League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Blacklight. I got Penumbra on there, but I don't really play Penumbra much. Like, I'm about halfway through it, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down below and leave a like, because I like likes. But I don't like like likes. And if you want to keep following me for any other random stuff I might put on the internet, then go... Where is it? I don't know. Hit the subscribe button. See ya.